guys, how you doing? Darren Baird here. So listen, uh, the heater control in my car is not working. So you know my dad's a great mechanic, auto mechanic. So I said, you know, I could fix this. This is pretty straightforward. You know, I've grown up around cars, you know. So I called the junkyard, and they said for my car, Grand Cherokee, that they have the part, and it's out. So I drove all the way up to the junkyard. Listen, I'm laughing. I drove all the way to the junkyard, and I got here. They said, well, we don't have the part. I mean, we have the part, but it's still in the car. So I said, well, you're going to go get it? They they looked at me, and were like, no, you got to get it. So I was like, what? I said, okay, I'll get it. I'll get it. I have tools. I always have tools in the car. So I grabbed my tools. They're right here in this bag. And now I get, I'm in the yard, and I'm I'm like, well, where, where, where? Where's the cars? You know, so, well, you got to walk around to find it. <laughs> so I'm, this is craziness. I'm walking around the yard. Sorry. I'm walking around the yard trying to find the Cherokee. So I'm like, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> it's crazy. So I, f- I found maybe four. I found five of them, and four of them were too old, and I found one, and I got to it, and watch, it's gone. I was like, come on, give me a break. Somebody got it, and now I'm done. I'm out of here. It's too cold, so that's what's up. They got an update. They said they have some of the cars, but it's in a restricted area. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But they said I got to get one of the people that work here to take me over to that area. I guess that's where the nicer cars are. And then I can rip it out. So I'm just waiting for uh, one of the uh, people that work here. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> to take me over to the restricted areas. And now oh, these guys are fighting. Hey, hey, hey. You want to buy it? Over that new one. It's a forty dollar, the big one. How big is it? <laughs> this is a funny place. <laughs> while I'm waiting, while I'm waiting to uh, be taken over to the restricted area, I might as well do a little practice and do some mouth- mouthpiece buzzing. <sighs> This mouthpiece, uh, sorry. What's going on with this restricted area? Ah, uh, that's where it puts the newer shit. Ah, that's where all the good stuff is. Yeah. So you, I got to be taken over there? And does he wait? What? I mean, does he just take me over there? Do I ha- Or does he wait for me to take the part out? Uh, I'm looking for uh, the climate control, but I need it, the climate control for a Jeep. And there's nothing in this yard. Oh, the Cherokee, Grand Cherokee. Yeah. Do you remember that when he gave it back to me? I don't know. I think I'll take you out there if you want. But hold on one second. Yeah, if you can. Do you want me to take him out to the restricted area? Or like, you got a gold and legal. legal. I think you come in legal, you help him hang. But don't fight, don't fight. It's okay. No, no. He's waiting for you all in here. I told you my friend. So, I'm here, and I they they took me to the restricted area, and then the the boss came out screaming, saying, "Get out of the restricted area! Get out of the restricted restricted area! You're not supposed to be there!" So I had to get out of the restricted area, and they had much nicer cars in the restricted area, but didn't have what I needed. So the boss said, "Listen, go 500 yards up, and there's a place called Regal. You can get what you need there." I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> I just <coughs> spent two hours here bullshitting. It's okay, though. Hey, whatever, whatever. Let me go to Regal. Now, I'm trying to leave, and you wouldn't believe it. I'm blocked in. Look at this. That's a car that just came in to be junked. And I'm blocked in. And I can't leave because this car. Yeah. That's me. 
Oh, he's gonna move it. Oh, great. Okay. He's gonna move it for me, which is nice. I appreciate that. But I wanna go. I wanna go. So he's chopping it up. Hey. All right. <laughs> so listen, uh, update. So on the same street, there was three different records or, or junkyards. There's Brockton Junkyard, there's uh, Everett Junkyard, and there's Regal Junkyard. So I don't know. I went to Brockton first, and I got beat up. And so I passed Everett. I didn't even know it was a junkyard, and I went to Regal, and, I, and they didn't have any. So I, okay, be right there. Be right there. So I went to, I went to, I'm at Everett now. And they have the part, which is this, and it's out of the car, ready to go for 35 bucks. I think at the dealers, it's like a $400 part. <laughs> it's they're like, wow, 35 bucks. So I'm about to buy it, put it in, and I should be good. Hey guys, how you doing? Darren Barrett, Darren Barrett here. Finally, I found a junkyard that has the part. And I put the part in. I'm putting the part in, as you can see. You know, I got the car all dismantled, and I'm putting it in, and it works beautifully. Yes, it took a little more work than I, I wanted to wanted it to do, but you know, this little part probably cost four hundred dollars at the. Uh, this whole thing would have probably cost seven hundred dollars, and it ended up costing me. I don't know how much the park costs. 60 bucks? Hey. You know what I mean? And by the way, what's that music in the background? <laughs> Man, it's not Christmas, but I'm listening to uh, a very bare Christmas. New, uh, new uh, Christmas CD I released. Uh, if you missed it, uh, this Christmas that just passed, check it out for this upcoming Christmas. It's a good disc. DB.